Welcome back, friends. Today we're going to talk about an awesome tech tool called Blend Space. The web address to get here is blendspace.com. It used to be called Ed Canvas, but it is now called Blend Space. The first thing that you can do when you get here is you can click on this sign up button. So let's click on that now. And you're going to indicate that you're a teacher, obviously. So click on I'm a teacher. And then you're going to go ahead and register as a teacher by typing in your first name, last name, an email address, and a password. And you're going to click the sign up button. So while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to show you in Blend Space is we're going to go through these buttons over here. So I have clicked on the gallery button right here. And what's awesome about the gallery is you can actually search for lessons on Blend Space that other teachers have already created. And they have them even separated some of their best ones by um, content area. So let's say that you wanted to search for lessons on the ocean. You just type that in and click search and you could pull up other lessons that people have done on the ocean. And this one has been viewed 687 times and it's about the ocean current. So let's click on that one and check it out. So when you click on it, you can actually pull up all the stuff that's inside of this teacher's blend space. So it looks like there's some text, there's a PDF, there's a quiz. There are a couple of uh, video clips um, and there's some web links in here. And what's great about this is that you can actually copy this lesson by pressing this button right here. And then it actually, now it has, has brought me to my account um, and it has copied the resources from that lesson that that teacher has allowed to be copied. Sometimes you can copy the entire lesson. Sometimes the teacher only says specific things can be copied. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my home button. Like for instance, I have copied this photosynthesis lesson here um, from down here. It's had over 27,000 views. All right, so photosynthesis here has had a lot of views on it. So this is the photosynthesis lesson and you can click on copy to copy and then um, manipulate that lesson however you want it to be. But let's say you just want to start, oh, let's go into classes and we'll talk about that for a second. You can actually create a class for your students to join. So I'll say seventh grade and you just click add class. And then it gives your students a web address that they can visit and a special code that they can use to join that class. And you can decide if they should see all the lessons or if you just want to activate one lesson at a time for them to see. And you don't have to write this code down. You can come back and view that code at any point in time. So now let's go into lessons and let's click on new lesson because this is the most fun. So you're going to enter your lesson title up here. So we're going to type in oceans. What's great is that you can just click the search button here and all of these wonderful educational resources pop up for you. And you can actually go straight down the line here and see what's available. So right now it's searching YouTube for educational videos about the oceans. You could also search for images on Google, search open ed, search on Flickr for other images. You could search for screencast videos that teachers or students have made on educreations. You can search guru, um, insert web pages if you have a specific website that you want the students to visit. If you have a video file or an audio file that you want the kids to listen to or watch that's on your computer, you could upload that. You can pull anything in from your Dropbox account, from your Google Drive account, um, or something that you have bookmarked on the web. But let's see, what's great about this is that as you hover over any of these, a little preview button appears so you can click on preview and it will pop up a, a preview for you so that you can actually watch and view 
what this particular video is, which is great because I always like to preview what my students are going to see and experience um, before I put it into a lesson. So let's say that we like that resource. All we have to do is drag and drop the resource onto our blend space. And then we can go into the next um, area and do the same thing. Now let's say after my students watch this video, I want to add a quiz. So I can actually qu click on that quiz button and I can enter a question here. And you can select the correct answer and blend space will auto grade it for you. And you can also add a new question. So you can create a multiple choice quiz as lengthy as you want it to be. Questions can't be left blank. Oops, let's just delete that question. Okay, and then you have your, your quiz embedded here. And let's say that I want, we'll just pull in a couple of resources here. Um, let's search on open ed and see if there's anything about oceans there. Okay, how people affect animals, affect ocean animals and plants. That looks interesting. Um, let's see, here's another one. Pull that one in. Now, I have six here. I could add another row. I could also um, drag and, and drop these. So if I want them to take the quiz at the end, I could do it that way. All right, so let's say that we are finished with, oh, and you can edit these squares. So you can always go back and edit in anything you need to. And you can enter labels to give your students directions. You can change um, the titles, change the descriptions of everything that's up here when you want to. Okay, so let's say that you are ready to share your resource with your students. So this is my, my blend space. I'm going to go ahead and click on the share button. Now, I have a couple of options here. I could share it with one of the groups of classes that I have created. I could just copy this link and share it with my students, post this link on my website. I could share it on Edmodo. I could embed it into a website. This is one of my most favorite things. You can actually make a QR code by just clicking on this link here. Um, and then the kids can scan the QR code and explore your blend space. These are all the different ways that you can share your lessons with your students. Now, clicking down to the privacy settings, this is where as a teacher you can decide what you want to be copied from this lesson. So who can view this lesson? If you want um, anyone in Blend Space, any other teacher to be able to use this lesson because you're super proud of it, then you can click anyone. You could just select only the people with the link and my students or only me if it's not ready um, you know, to be seen by anybody else. Which resources can be copied from this lesson? All, only public resources or none. So you can you know, decide the privacy level that you want. If you upgrade to the paid version, you can have students actually collaborate and work on creating blend spaces together. So that's another option. And that is blend space. So that that's what I really love about blend space is that all the resources are already created here and available for you. So if you need something quick, if you need to differentiate something, um, you, you know, this is a great way to differentiate. Maybe you have three different levels of things that, that students are working on. So maybe one level of students look at one particular blend space and, and that kind of thing. So Blend Space is a, a great resource for teachers, lots of things to help speed up um, our lives. And the other thing that I wanted to let you know about is that there's this track option. So let me go back home. Um, so if you hover over your lessons here, you can click track and it will tell you how many students spent how much time on each video, watching the video, answering the quiz questions, the kids have the opportunity to like and dislike things and they also have the opportunity to click can we go over this in class so they can ask for help. So as a teacher when you click on track you can see all of that information pretty easily as well. So that is Blend Space. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.